welcome back. And if you're new here, my name's Andy. I'm a part-time prospector based out of Canada. I just recently moved from the Kelowna area down to Edmonton, Alberta, where I've been doing a lot of high banking on the North Saskatchewan River. I'm trying to see how much flower gold can one guy pull out of that river recreationally, because I still have a full-time job, in one season. And is it comparable to panning recreationally out in BC? But while I do this, I have other goals that I have to stick to as well. And on my prospecting journey out in BC, I've acquired a few claims which require me to go back once in a while and do bare minimal, dig a hole, move a yard of dirt, take some photos before and after, send it off to the government with my paperwork and extend the lifetime of the claim. So that's the plan for this week. We're going up to one of my claims in the historic gold mining area north of Revelstoke called the Big Bend. There's a lot of famous creeks up this way. There's French Creek, McCulloch Creek, Carnes Creek. I'm excited to get up there and see what we can find. Okay, we made it to the claim. So that's the campsite. Okay, we don't need much. Shovel, pan, clean up pan. We got a bucket. Right into and a couple crevice tools. Let's get at it. Okay, first pan on the claim today. Any gold? Okay. Couple little pieces. Not bad.
Okay, so I'm just doing some cleaning on the bedrock here. Let me show you where I'm working. So I just pulled out this large piece of bedrock from here. And now I'm just gonna clean this material up a little bit. See what we can find. Quite a few little micro dials. Well, a couple smaller flakes here. I'm gonna keep moving. Try somewhere else. So right here is the bedrock outcropping. You can see the gravels on top. I'm just gonna take a test pan from right in here, right on top of that bedrock. So now I'm doing a different kind of test on the gold claim. Okay, so I punched the hole straight down. You can see if we can find some gravel, put it in the bucket, take it to the creek and pan it out. Okay. There's the hole. Just starting to get gravel. Just found this one in the ground. Nice rock. Moment of truth. 
Is there a gold a hundred feet away from the river? Five feet down. Let's see. Okay, there wasn't gold in that last pan, but there is gravel here. So I think I'm gonna rip a big hole. I'm gonna make it stairs going down and try to get a couple feet below the gravel, see if the gold starts. Let's get to it. Okay, so that gravel layer, it was very thin. Nothing there. Well, got that all reclaimed. Nothing there. Okay, so this is the trick. Five gallon pail, instead of having to snorkel, so you can keep your head dry and not get cold, take a five gallon pail, Chop the bottom out, silicone and some plexiglass. It even works if you want to put your camera underwater. Check this out. Okay, well, not a lot of success type in there. I think the spot may have been dredged. It's pretty clean, nothing's tightly packed. So we're gonna try some shoveling. So I'm doing some test pans right here. Okay, so I've been digging right here. There's this big log buried and it kind of pushes up against the bank and it creates like this little V. And I did a test pan here, three, four pieces. And then here it was like eight pieces. So what I'm gonna do is go a little bit deeper and then I wanna see if right there has a whole bunch, let's see. Where's the hot spot? Right here, here, and deeper. This whole triangle. Let's see. All right, I got one shovel full in the pan. We'll pan it out.
Okay. Time to do a snuff or dump. See what we got for the day. Prospecting the gold claim. Hopefully it's enough time to uh, extend the lifetime for another year or two. Okay, here we go. It's one really big garnet. Massive garnet. The rest of these are all garnets too. There we go. That's the gold for today. And the gold plan. So we didn't get a whole lot of gold, but I can extend the claim to get that paperwork done. Move on to the next claim. Here we go.